Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac. Why don't we... You know, I've been picking characters lately. Why don't we random... Okay. You know what? What, what better to pull us out of our slump than a, a Samson good random run? So I'm going to address something right off the top of this. There was obviously an episode that went up recently that a lot of people had uh, a specific problem with. And this was the episode where I picked up Brimstone for, the, you know, the manyth time in roughly as many videos. Uh, and people seem to have two problems with it. One... Brimstone itself is getting a little tired, making the videos a little boring, and two, in particular, people seem to have a problem with me using the uh, exploit for brim snapping. Now, to a certain extent, you know, after I got done being confused, because uh, sometimes people want me to exploit exploits, you know, to phrase it in the most awkward way possible, and sometimes people want me to avoid them, I guess, if they're too powerful. Uh, you know, I, I, once I got done being confused, I, I, I understand where you're coming from. So I'm going to avoid taking Brimstone. I actually uh, unintentionally avoided taking Brimstone. Well, I intentionally avoided it, but it was before that video went live. Just because I, I could feel kind of the sentiment brewing that it was getting a little tired. First item, Kamikaze on Samson. Game, why have you forsaken me? Uh, so, you know, I, I'm going to do my best to try to keep things entertaining and avoid treading exactly the same water every time. Now, in return for this, and believe me, I am going to make an honest attempt at this. Uh, in return for this, please, please, have some leniency if you are a, uh, perhaps a more discerning viewer, then, uh, you know, have some leniency and recognize that I don't control the random number gener generator. I don't control what items show up, and if, you know, it puts me in a very difficult position when it's like, okay, a run is looking really bad, but then an item shows up that's too good for people to be happy with me picking it up. It's like, what do you want from me? Occasionally, you know, people will be like, oh, you know, you made a really stupid decision not picking that up, and occasionally I get it from the other side that is, oh, I can't believe you picked that up, it makes the runs too easy to watch. So, you know, I understand I'm not trying to invalidate your criticisms by any stretch of the imagination, and I appreciate any constructive feedback that you can offer, uh, especially when it is phrased as civilly as possible, as if you were talking to a human being and not some kind of unfeeling robot. That being said, uh, I, I will do my best, you know, to make it a, a, the videos a little bit more palatable, and in particular, I won't broom snap anymore, even though some people seem to like it. it. Seems to annoy a lot of people as well, and, you know, I'd be lying if I didn't say, if, or if I said I didn't see where that was coming from. So, uh, let's, we're gonna have a truce here, we're gonna be okay, and uh, let's get back to the most important part, which is, you know, having fun while playing The Binding of Isaac, and that's exactly what we're gonna do. So I am doing some more uh, vanilla runs here, for better or for worse. I, I really enjoy vanilla runs. I keep saying, you know, maybe we'll do a challenge run at some point, and actually there have been some challenge runs in the comments, uh, but I thought I'd throw down a vanilla run today, just because I've been kind of a slump lately, and it might be nice to pull it back a little bit, and you know, it's, what better way to get your confidence back uh, than winning a run as one of the characters who you like least in the game. <laughs> it also, you know, it stacks the odds against us, which means if we succeed, more power to us, right? So, Samson, obviously, his shortcomings are well known. Uh, he is not particularly strong with his base damage. Uh, you know, infestation is actually... Is this infestation? Yeah, they grow inside. This is not the mulligan, so this means every time we get hit, we're going to spawn flies. It, weirdly enough, we're starting to create kind of a run where, you know, the more we get hit, the stronger we become, especially if we hit ourselves via Kamikaze. Uh, unfortunately, you know, I, I don't want to hit myself by a Kamikaze because one of Samson's other shortcomings is that he has a, kind of a, a really low base health stat. So we're going to need to pick up some damage, we're going to need to pick up some health, and we're probably going to need a, a good, uh, you know, measure of luck to carry us through this run as well. Uh, but, you know, Infestation is a fairly okay passive item. There are ways that we could probably make it work for us, and Kamikaze is not necess- Wow, I can't believe he slid so far. Kamikaze is not necessarily the end of the world, even though I consider it to be a pretty bad item. If we end up taking Kamikaze into the late game and somehow we get good items and permanent Polaroid invincibility, we could maybe make something incredible happen with Kamikaze. It's also unlimited bombs. Here's a real uh, head-scratcher for you. Do I open this golden chest or do I save the key for the shop? Um, that, to a certain extent, in my eyes, depends on whether or not we can get to 15 cents. If we get to 15 cents, I would love to go to the shop. Obviously, something like Blue Candle would be amazing. We could buy it for 7 cents, but do I really want to gamble? Uh, that there's gonna be a 7 cent item in the, the shop. I uh, continue to play the Blood Bank. Creates a fly for us, which is offensively good, but it also puts us in a situation where we could earn an HP and speed upgrade, uh, which is not essential, but would be a huge asset for us right now. Uh, let's continue moving onwards for now. We'll make this decision towards the end of the floor, because I don't want to open that golden chest and then be like, Oh, the boss dropped Pageant Boy! Uh, which would obviously make the shop substantially more worthwhile. It's also, you know, always possible that you can buy a key on the shop. Uh, we could also actually, or in the shop, I guess I should say, we can also use this bomb to access a key as well. Uh, so we'll probably end up opening both at this point. But for now, uh, let's just fight Pin. This is gonna be a long-ish fight. I, I would love to use Kamikaze to basically murder him. 
uh, but we can't because it'll it'll take off too much of our health, and uh, you know the, the trade off is just not good basically. So we will hope for an HP upgrade here. Damage upgrade would be awesome as well. But you know my ideal second floor combo when you end up in a situation like this. It is, um... Oh, almost took awful damage there. It is uh, HP upgrade plus uh, deal with the devil that gives you mom's knife. Because obviously I guess brimstone. We're going to keep it off the table for now. Let's not open up that whole can of worms again. So I got lucky that Pin did hurt himself uh, fairly substantially. And he almost did it again actually. He's dead. HP upgrade, deal with the devil. So far so good. According to plan... Now, um, there is a, there's an interesting situation here. I'm just trying to think about how I can handle this. Uh, obviously if we take the Pact, then the Pact gives us two Spirit Hearts, so we'd have three Spirit Hearts, as well as the, you know, upgrades that we have. But I think taking the Nail is smarter in this decision, because it, it, it gives us the ability to replenish our health, and it also replaces Kamikaze, which... You know, I mentioned could be useful for us, but probably isn't going to be. So, uh, I think this was the right decision. We are now definitely, decidedly in permanent Polaroid invincibility territory. Samson's Lock is a very strange pickup for us. Uh, and you know what? I will trade the bomb for the key, but I'm not going to use the key to open... Should have looked at the secret room there. But I'm not going to use the key to look for the, uh... Or to go to the shop yet. I'm going to wait until I absolutely have 15 cents, because this key could end up being exceptionally valuable. Now, uh, we're still not in a great position by any stretch of the imagination, but we are better off uh, than we used to be, I think, at least. I, as much as I, I really almost uh, went through with the decision to pick up the, uh, the Pact, because obviously the two Spirit Arts would have been a nice temporary boost, and also it would have given us better base damage. It would have made us offensively better than the Nail does. But the Nail is definitely, uh, I think it's the, the smart money pickup. It, it's the difference potentially between life and death on either long-term or short-term, and it always... Uh, of course, scales well or synergizes well with other items that we may end up picking up. For example, a um, nine volt or a battery or nuns habit, of course. Now, uh, this is not to say we're going to stay with the nail for the rest of the game, but for now, especially if we're planning on doing permanent, po I'm going to get hit here. If we're planning on doing permanent Polaroid invincibility. We kind of have to. We are now down to one spirit art. Now, keep in mind that even if we had uh, not taken the nail deal, this wouldn't have made a difference. Uh, we still would have been hit by those enemies just because we don't do enough damage right now. And to be frank, we don't have enough bombs uh, to really help ourselves out of the situation either. So, or, or to have really helped ourselves out of that situation. So, uh, we're kind of, you know, our hands are tied to a certain extent. We're only a few rooms away from getting another spirit heart and feeling reasonably more confident than we are right now. So, as long as I can, you know, behave relatively smart then I should be uh, in a position where, where life finds a way to accidentally and totally not accidentally quote Jeff Goldblum. Now, do this and one of those and one of these. Alright, that was a good one-two punch there. We're one room away. And this is actually an ideal room for us. Uh, again, I'm, I'm going to open up our, our item room as opposed to going uh, for the shop for now. Even though the shop probably synergizes a little bit, or potentially synergizes a little bit better. Odd Mushroom is a great pickup that I cannot complain about at all. That is going to drastically improve our uh, offensive capabilities and uh, make it much less tiresome to shoot this poop. Now, obviously, now we're looking out primarily since our damage is at least half decent, or damage output. Our, our, da our damage itself, as raw stats go, there goes that spirit heart, goddamn. I guess we need more health as well. We, we're looking for something to augment our, um, our uh, nail to make it a little stronger, because as of right now, uh, obviously, it's kind of a rough position for me. We're going to try to get another spirit heart before we go to this boss. The thing we have to worry about now is the knockback from this shooting. Uh, puts us in kind of a, a weird position. Now, if we get HP upgrades, I'm absolutely going to take them. We're not going to roll on permanent per Polaroid invincibility just yet, obviously, because we can't. Um, we, we don't have the Polaroid, and we're unlikely to get it for a little while. Uh, well, for a few floors, anyway. We might as well check out our room here. Ah, ah so unfortunate. Okay, we'll check out this room instead. Blue candle! Oh my god, it, it, I so want it. Because it does so much damage, but we really need to keep the nail. So I picked up the Devil card. That was a risk, uh, and it's a risk that I wouldn't necessarily say paid out. But uh, maybe it'll keep us alive on this boss fight, you never know. If I'd known that Blue Candle was going to show up, I probably might have considered buying uh, the Pact with my hearts instead of buying the nail. Oh, okay, this is a big moment then. I'm very glad we picked up the Devil, uh, because this is going to allow us to do a lot more damage. Uh, but in two hits, we'll die here. But at the end of this fight, there's a very good chance that we will either be dead or we'll have a, a, an item that is drastically going to improve our chances. 
Or, you know, maybe we're nearly dead and we pick up nine lives. There, there's still multiple possibilities, but you know there are some very, very great free deal with the devil items that I would love to pick up in this situation. And as of right now, it's been a very easy fight. Odd Mushroom. Uh, it, it's one of those items that kind of doesn't get its, uh, its fair share of love, I think. Okay, so we got free Spirit of the Night, a free Eternal Heart, which is essentially an HP upgrade in this situation, and what the hell... Oh, we're fighting Krampus as well, which is, um... You know, oh Jesus! Okay, don't lose the eternal heart. That is essential. Uh, it, it's very, um, you know, risk reward. I'm not necessarily the fondest of the fact that we find ourselves fighting Krampus, but I guess you know it's nice to be able to get a deal with the devil without actually paying for it. This is two deal with the devil items uh, without having to actually invest any money in it, which is great. And the fact that we got that eternal heart is again just enough to keep us on the uh, right side of living. Now, we, obviously, we can't build rage up here, which makes us uh, substantially weaker. Uh, we really need to get away from him. We were about halfway through this fight, which is pretty good. If we didn't get pretty much the exact combinations of items that we got, uh, we would find ourselves in a very rough position. Now, I want to point out, by the way, that the fact that we got Spirit of the Night, not only, of course, one of my favorite items in the game, uh, just from a defensive end... The Eternal Heart. I still have the Eternal Heart! How could you do this to me? Okay. That went badly. I was gonna say that the Eternal Heart actually puts us in a position where we can get some of those items we couldn't get before. We're gonna random again. We're gonna random Kane. Okay, so, you know, at 11 minutes, I can't really, uh... Uh, you know, just end the episode there. It just wouldn't feel right. So instead, we're gonna do another one here. And we'll play as Kane. Um, I haven't played as Kane in a while, so I'm excited about that. I'm disappointed that that Samson run ended as soon as it did. You know, the game really put me through my paces. There were some hard moments uh, right off the bat. I mean, Fallen plus uh, Krampus back-to-back -back without any real health that I got from either of them, because the Eternal Heart actually didn't uh, give me any health. I guess the Eternal Heart doesn't effectively count as HP until it uh, actually turns into a full HP upgrade. So, you know, I, I, I didn't play fantastically, but the game also put me in a position where you really had to play fantastically to win, which is rare for the Caves Part 1, I would say. So let's see if we can make something better happen on this uh, Kane run. Book of Shadows is not my favorite item, but there have been situations recently... I almost walked directly into that fire. There have been situations recently uh, where Book of Shadows has, you know, done its fair share to make me feel a little bit better about it. Now, I would love to get a bomb at some point so we can crack open that Eternal Rock, maybe pick up a, the Small Rock upgrade. I'm just going to go hang out basically right next to the Duke of Flies right now. Book of Shadows lasts so long, we should be able to do some serious killing. Uh, and you know, the stronger we get, the more orbitals we get and stuff like that, the, the better Book of Shadows will become. Uh, especially if we get something like Poison Touch, it'll be amazing. But, Duke of Flies, relatively dead. Just gotta kill his minions here, and then we'll see what item we get, and we'll start building, uh, hopefully a better run. Tears Upgrade, as Kane, not the end of the world to get a, um, an item like this. And you know what? Why don't we go to our curse room, just because I feel like... We're in a position where we can. We'll, we'll go balls to the wall. I don't have the bombs necessary to access those hearts. Maybe I'll get them on the uh, curse room here. Where there's oh, there's the secret room as well, but we can't really afford to go to that at all. Uh, so don't get hit by these spiders twice, or you'll oh my god, are you kidding me? It's a bad series of rooms. Um, we could uh, take a trip down to our secret room now, but it would kill us to leave. So um, you know, welcome to the Hotel California. I guess we will. Go up and, uh, right and up and, and finish off our first floor here. For a floor that I don't consider that fantastic, but tears upgrade, sure, why not? Uh, and Book of Shadows may, you know, indeed end up saving our life until we get strong enough to, uh, or lucky enough to pick up a better item, or, um, you know, maybe it'll end up playing a major part in our run longer than expected. We'll see. Charges at once every three rooms, which is pretty substantial. Goat Hoof, I always forget. I believe it is a speed upgrade. I feel a little bit faster already. Uh, so what do I need as Kane? Lots of pills. Uh, you know, if we were to get Mom's bottle of pills, uh, I could be persuaded to think that that was a pretty good pickup for us. And people are always mad at me about how I talk about Kane. They're always like, oh, Northern Lion loves Isaac, but he hates, or he loves Judas as well, but he hates Kane. That's not true. I like Kane a lot. He's just not my favorite character in the game. He's certainly not my least favorite. I mean, look, there's a long list, <laughs> a laundry list, if you will, to put it in J. Smith OTI terms, of, of characters that I would... Uh, rather play Kane over, if that makes sense. I would much rather play Kane than Blue Baby, Eve, or Samson. Uh, so, you know, th third favorite character in the game, and Maggie as well, I'd rather play Kane than Maggie. So, you know, third favorite out of seven characters in the game, that's pretty good. I would consider, you know, Kane is basically on par with Judas as, like, my second favorite character of the game, I would say. Maybe Judas sometimes I like a little bit more because of the Book of, uh, the Book of Belial pickup. Uh, but... Isaac my favorite because of the D6. Just makes every run a little bit more interesting, but, but Kane's cool as well. 
totally A-OK -okay in my book. So, um, with the amount of health we have, with the uh, position that we're in, I am going to A, go to this curse room, and then B, sorry, I didn't mean to make it seem like a test there, uh, but I'm going to go to this curse room, then I'm going to pick up that heart, and then we're going to uh, fight this boss. Okay, this is Spider City, population eight-legged freaks, but we're going to pick this up, fight the boss, and hopefully earn a quick deal with the devil, and start snowballing out of control. It's been a while since we've had a run uh, that I was really pleased with. Uh, you know what, we're going to pop Book of Shadow straight away and uh, just get in this dude's face. Uh, I don't think he takes any damage from running into me. I guess, you know, people have told me, if you if you kill little Steven first, then you have a much better chance of getting regular Steven, although you do have a chance of getting uh, both of them, I, I guess, no matter which enemy you kill first. But uh, it's okay. It's going to be an easy fight. Little Steven, uh, a little bit more uh, wiggly, a little bit more difficult to uh, avoid getting hit by, and a little more difficult to hit, but by the same token, uh, less HP, I think, than his uh, larger counterpart. So, easy enough to kill. We get little Steven, but no deal with the devil, but certainly I feel like I'm in a much more confident position than I was in last time. So we'll continue making our way down here. Uh, those two cents are definitely not worth it. It seems like kind of a big floor for the basement part two, but we've got to be coming up close to our shop and uh, item room terminals. Uh, I, I really want to go to the item room, the shop, of course. I, I mean, I really want to go to the shop. Again, you know, anytime you have a book that is half decent as your uh, uh, your spacebar item, you want to pick up augmentations today. You want to pick up uh, the nine volt or the battery or the nuns have it, the, the three big ones. Uh, but we're not going to be able to do that with the amount of money we have. So unless we find a secret room, kind of luckily, because I doubt I will use my bomb to do it. Ah, you know, a bomb for a nickel is a pretty solid trade. It's actually like a the definition of fair market value, but that would still only put us at six cents for now. So it still would not make the shop worthwhile. Um, and our item room contains tarot cards. Let's see what we get out of this. I was really hoping we get the small rock. Um, what's better, tarot cards or Book of Shadows? Oh, okay, well now... <laughs> okay, first off, before I go through what I'm about to go through, uh, we need to see if we can get one more cent, or ideally two more cents. Okay, so... Oh, now I actually don't have a bomb, though, to get the... Um... Okay, so never mind. You know what? I, fuck the Book of Shadows. I'm going to roll with the tarot cards. I, I know this might not be the popular decision, but it's the best I feel for me. Possibility of getting Devil, Sun, High Priestess, Teleportation cards that take us to the item room or the shop without having to spend a key. These are all really valuable. The opportunity to possibly go to the Devil Room by way of a Joker card. I, I really like the uh, the deck of tarot cards. Even if they don't always pay out, obviously there's some tarot cards that are better than others. They were not all created equal. Uh, but I, I like the tarot cards as an item in general. And Book of Shadows, you know, it, it had its time in the sun. It did fine for me, and it's it's totally possible that I'm making a terrible decision. That will depend on the items we pick up later. If I get, like, a Poison Touch and Permanent Polaroid Invincibility or something, uh, and, you know, a bunch of space bar augmentation items, like the ones, uh, the three that I mentioned earlier, uh, then I'll probably end up eating my words. Although, you know, space bar augmentations that increase the amount of times you can use your space bar item are fantastic on the tarot cards as well, so maybe, maybe not. Getting uh, five extra bombs here and the additional uh, effect of poison bombs on every single floor is nice, and I feel about as strong as I would like to be bare minimum uh, for the Catacombs Part 1, which is to say, I think we're going to be able to make it through this floor without significant amounts of stress or strife, uh, but I need to pick up something on this floor to really make me feel uh, like that confidence can continue uh, in good faith. So basically, you know, our damage is fine. The fact that we're, we got that tears upgrade means we're firing a little bit faster. Little Steven uh, adds in a little bit of hurting power with respect to these enemies, but uh, we need some kind of damage improver. And another tarot card, free of charge. It's the lover's card. I'm just going to pop that straight away because I want to hold on to two of diamonds in case we uh, pick up, you know, six cents on this floor, which would allow us to uh, queue our way up to 16 and possibly buy a good space bar augmentation item or just a good space bar item. I mean, if, if the blue candle's available in the shop this time, especially if it's half price, it would be a no-brainer purchase, uh, simply because it allows us to do so much killing so early on. So we might end up looking for the secret room. You know, getting five bombs, Catacombs Part 1, it's not the easiest secret room to find, uh, but it is, you know, it, it only gets harder from this point on, so probably in our best interest to look out for it. Uh, you know what? We can pick up some more bombs here by using this Hanged Man card. We can pick up one more bomb. So essentially, I'm trading this Hanged Man card for one bomb. Uh, there probably is a better use for it, but again, I'm focusing on keeping this uh, Two of Diamonds card as long as possible. We'll see what goes on on... You know, you can only take one card down per floor, so it's better to use it than... Or use it for something that's not the best than uh, not use it at all, in my opinion. Troll Bomb, we should be able to get away from. It's kind of close. Uh, we'll check out our mob trap room, because of course we will, and, uh, you know, bombing a key out of this is a pretty solid deal. 
Two of diamonds, still not quite applicable, but we're in the, the right range, you know, if we just get one good secret room. And there's only, it looks like, two possible locations for the secret room uh, on this floor, which is uh, exactly, you know, the price is right, basically, for spending these bombs. Uh, so let's back it up and around here, and so far so good on this run. I would love to snag another deal with the devil. That's the good thing about the last run. Is that, you know, if we had just survived, we were really strong between Spirit of the Night, the uh, Lump of Coal, which we would have gotten had uh, Krampus not killed us. And uh, also, well, there's another scent, which is nice. Uh, might as well take out these neutral flies just to see if there's money in the poop. There's always money in the poop stand. Uh, it's been a while since I watched Arrested Development, so I lost half a Spirit Heart to get that penny. It's essentially two pennies, though, so I feel slightly better about it, I suppose. Uh, now we're gonna look for the secret room. I see two possible locations. This is the less likely one, I would say. So, what do I know? There it is. And, uh, we get a ton of money here. We already have 14 cents, so, uh, I am gonna use my key to open the shop, but I'm only gonna use two of diamonds if there's an item worth buying. Otherwise, it's better to just hold on to it. Um, yeah, you know, we'll, we'll pop two of diamonds. And we'll buy the ladder, and this will still keep us at 13 cents. So I was thinking, like, do we want to buy the ladder? Maybe not, but, uh, you know, the ladder usually pays for itself, uh, especially if we don't have the ability to fly. Beyond that, we'll still have 13 cents. We're es essentially popping a card uh, to pick up a free ladder, which is nice, you know? I mean, we need two more cents, I guess, to pick up another item, but that was essentially buy one item, get the next one free. So I I'm happy with those terms. Uh, I did take a little bit of damage on this fight, which is not something I'm uh, happy with. I probably would have uh, preferred to even use one of our bombs, but I decided, you know, bombs are still, you know, even though we have six of them, a little bit precious. This guy doesn't have that much HP, uh, so we'll just take him out the old-fashioned way, and uh, it turns out this is backfiring pretty heavily right now, although we still do have full red health. Maybe we will still earn a deal with the devil. HP upgrade from this guy would be uh, boss right now. No deal with the devil, but a coin purse, and remember, what did I say? We're Kane. These, this could be more important than an HP upgrade. Friends till the end, it's something, not bad gas. Tears up, okay, so there's, right now we're already at one standard boss item. Plus a range upgrade, slightly better than one standard boss item, and bad gas. So I would say that still paid out a little bit better than your average boss. Uh, but, you know, you can only get one coin purse over the course of the uh, entire game, as far as I know, so... Uh, could have paid out better. Worries me a little bit that we didn't get an HP upgrade. I wonder if those HP upgrade pills are even in our rotation. If they are, beautiful. Uh, if they're not, you know, so be it. Time marches on. Uh, we do have the ladder, so we should be able to pick up Blue Baby's soul here. Which is, uh, slightly better than... Uh, the Goat Hoof, in my opinion, gives us a second Familiar, at least, which again helps us do a little bit of damage, which is kind of our sore spot right now. We don't have a Polyphemus, we don't have a Quad Shot, we don't have a Brimstone Mom's Knife, etc, etc. We don't have any kind of damage item. We do have Tears Upgrades, which are, you know, akin to DPS increasers, but, uh, not the same as a raw damage increase. World Card! You know, we will pop this straight away, because it will allow us to find the Secret Room. Uh, does it not? The World Card doesn't allow you to find the Secret Room? That's news to me. Uh, maybe there's not a secret room on this floor. So I was hoping for a key. Uh, you know what? We're gonna clear out, uh, the path. Oh, there's a second key. Okay, never mind then. We're just gonna go to the item room. I was gonna go through it. Ah, Poison Touch. So maybe Book of Shadows would've been better. Um, but, uh, we're gonna... I was gonna say we're gonna clear out a path to the shop and the item room, and then we're gonna decide, uh, you know, accordingly which one we're gonna go to. And it turns out, uh, it was a moot point. We're gonna go to both of them, because we have the keys necessary to do so now. So, Poison Touch, happy to have it. Disappointed that, uh, I got rid of Book of Shadows, but, uh, you know, tarot cards... Oh, Jesus. Tarot cards have still turned out okay for us. So far, uh, they have basically given us the ladder, and, you know, they can continue to get better as the game goes on. You know, one right tarot card, one sun card when we're about to die, uh, is all we need to, to make me feel pretty okay about this situation, and the fact that we got rid of Book of Shadows to pick it up. So, uh, I'm gonna fight the boss again in my, uh... Apparently ill-fated attempts to get a deal with the devil. We're gonna be fighting Peep here, who's a little bit stronger than your average boss, of course. Uh, and you know, Peep is probably like borderline average boss for, uh, for the Catacombs part, too. Could be worse, certainly. Uh, I would much rather be fighting Gertie, he's an easier person to dodge. She does have a little bit more HP, though, which can be annoying in its own right. Uh, without the ability to fly, we have to be very cautious about this creep. But, apart from that... I can pretty much just primarily watch out for these eyes and uh, should find myself moving on here without really too much concern. Now that is damage I did not want to take. And of course, you know, as we gear up towards the end of this boss fight, I am still thinking that uh, an HP upgrade is probably the uh, primary 
thing that I would love to pick up, and this should be the end of our fight here. Almost took a little bit more damage. Kill him, kill him, thank you. No deal with the devil, but an HP upgrade is nice, and this actually puts me in a position where I can reasonably play the uh, blood bank, pick up some more money, potentially buy something amazing on the shop, but beyond that, um, uh, potentially get that HP upgrade, which is the most important part. So we're going to go down one more. I really hope that that would pay out. We can always get hearts from it later, uh, but this does put me in a position where I'm a little wary, you know. We we only have one and a half hearts of effective health right now. Hopefully we'll get some more. I'm gonna fight my way to the curse room if we lose our spirit heart. This is a tough room. If we lose our spirit heart, rest assured, I will... Uh, I will uh, pick up the... Uh, whatever's in the curse room, even though, you know, historically it seems like it's just likely to be spiders. Uh, so this is more money for me in all likelihood, or a trinket that gives us more money. Counterfeit penny, not my favorite trinket in the game, honestly. The moon card, a free trip to the secret room. Okay, there is no secret room on this level. We've confirmed that now. So I was right, the world card does give you uh, the secret room, but there's no secret room on this level. Is that like a curse of the lost thing? I don't know, this is very strange to me. Uh, that a secret room is just not generated here, but shit happens, I guess. Uh, I would love to get those pills, but obviously we can't fly, so Sugar Ray would be disappointed, and to be quite honest, I'm a little disappointed as well. Uh, let's get out of the way, and Bum Friend. No? Uh, Spirit Heart, yes, and we'll shoot the poop to see if there's some money that we can kind of earn back. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, the reason I don't want Bump Friend, I mean, yeah, you can drop consumables and that's fine, but I want to save our money and I want to go to as many shops as possible here. Uh, so we are going to go not to the Curse Room because that's a Spirit Heart loss, although it could have a deal with the Devil item, so it's like a five cent gamble to do it, uh, but I'm not going to. I'm going to blow up this ba uh, Blood Bank to get some hearts back. Now, if only there was a second Blood Bank so I could play those at that, but, you know, we're all good. We do have another, uh, money, or like another purse and another key available to make the shop uh, a potential possibility, especially actually with this uh, nickel available here. Uh, but I'll probably go to the item room first because I really anticipate greed showing up. And we're still, we're in this position where, you know, we're not doing terrible damage. We've gotten two tiers upgrades, which is really the, the crux of what we're doing so far. We're going to lose Blue Baby Soul eventually, which is not going to be great. Okay, now we're going to go to both. Ah, that was the worst. But, you know, we paid five cents for that Spirit Heart, we, we traded it for five cents, so worst case scenario, I guess we're, we broke even, but that might not matter if I die as a result of not having enough health. Um, okay, so don't accidentally pick up the tick, that would be disappointing. Um, I, I totally forgot what I was just going to say, but yeah, we, we need more damage, basically. Uh, more health would also be an asset. Uh, these bosses don't really appear to be dropping the items I need. We've had one HP upgrade, one coin purse, and, uh, one tears upgrade. It's not the end of the world, you know? We didn't get Pageant Boy, we didn't get, uh, Wiggle Worm, we didn't get Cat of Nine Tails, but, oh, Safety Cap causes us to get more pills. Might as well take it for now, for the one floor that it'll be useful for us. Uh, unless we get Mom's Purse, which is a possibility. Uh, okay, I had a feeling I was gonna get hit there. Let's try not to make it twice, though. Uh, we're only two rooms away from another tarot card. I'm trapped here. I got hit again, which is unfortunate, but a little bit more money. Feeling pretty skeptical, but by the same token, I haven't been getting the greatest drops. Uh, Ultra Pride, not my favorite person to fight. We're gonna drop some, uh, bombs in here. I've killed myself. Well, uh, that was a series of pretty terrible runs that I apologize for. Uh, to a certain extent, kinda got screwed, but this continues a, uh... Kind of a medium length run of not so great form. As always, thanks for watching and thanks for sticking with me uh, as I work through this slump. Uh, we'll, we'll try to figure it out and maybe I'll do a challenge run next to uh, get myself out of this funk. I don't think I played especially bad there. I think I got a little bit of bad luck coupled with some mediocre play and that's what happened. But I uh, hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. Hope you enjoyed my treatise on brimstone and brim snapping at the start of this. And as always, I will see you next time.